Hey guys, this is Frozen Things Tears here, and welcome back to another trailer reaction. My Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 trailer reaction was such a success, so I, uh, so I thought, you know, to do another, uh, trailer reaction, um, video like this. This time, it's not gonna be just one trailer reaction, I'm gonna do multiple trailer reactions. Uh, there were a lot of trailers this week, uh, like, a lot of big, big trailers that came out this week. This week was such a big, uh, week for trailers, um, so yeah, uh, this one, I'm gonna be doing a trailer reaction to three trailers. Uh, first off, um, it's gonna be um the creator, and then I'm gonna do um killers of of the flower moon, and then finally ended off with probably the, the the trailer that people would comment this one for Five Nights at Freddy's teaser trailer. Um, now yes, now there were I'm not gonna review um talk about the two Netflix trailers yet. Reacted to the two Netflix trailers, uh, Nimona and uh, Extraction Two. The reason is being that I'm a little concerned about Netflix. Um, I'm a little concerned about Netflix because Netflix is really strict with trade reactions. So, uh, my Wednesday trade reaction got blocked a big time. Uh, um, so I wanna I, I just wanna try my Nimona and Extraction to trade reactions first before uh seeing if it gets copy they get copyright claim. Copyright claim. Then I'll just do trade. I'll just review those trades. But I w like those two trades. They I they they definitely deserve to be talked about. Uh, but yeah. So with that said, guys. Uh, I wanna start off with uh, reacting to the creator trailer. Uh so yeah, the DC trailer for it. So yeah, without further ado, yeah. Without further ado, let's watch uh, the creator trailer. The DC trailer in the IMAX uh, channel. I'm I don't I don't think I'll watch I'll, I won't watch this movie IMAX. I, I don't plan to watch the movie IMAX, but I'm gonna use the IMAX channel for YouTube channel for this one. So yeah. Without further ado, let's react to the creator trailer in three Two, one, go. Wow. What's happening? All right, let's officially start. Like, Sean David Washington. Yeah. Are you going to heaven? Well, wow, beautiful. No. Whoa. Why not? You gotta be a good person to go to heaven. Yeah, that's right. Well, interesting that they're doing this. Twenty Century Studios. Uh, Ten years ago today. The artificial intelligence created to protect Beautiful. us. Looks like Blade Runner's visuals and Star Wars vibes. Los Angeles. Whoa. This is so good, Air Force. This reminds me of Rogue One. As long as AI yeah, I'm really getting Rogue One vibes. We will never stop yeah, this is getting Rogue One vibes. Give me Rogue One vibes. Whoa. For our very existence. Whoa. Whatever's in there, they're sure worried about someone getting in. Well, who's that? Yeah, we're good now. Whoa. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. Oh, okay. What's gonna happen? We're the same. Ooh. We can't go to heaven. AI, I can. A kid. Is that the kid? I think that's a kid from the beginning. No, uh, I don't know. An AI kid. And I'm it not just. Person. Ma Matrix vibes. Directed for Rogue One. Love Rogue One. It's Did a masterpiece. Yeah, it's a kid. Seatbelts. I do want to wait the train. Oh. Uh, we are this is close this to beautiful. War. Execute her, or we go extinct. Okay. Get me. Mm. Well, Star Wars back again. Also, uh, I like it. Gemma Chan again. Oh, yeah, Gemma Chan is in this. The creator. Experience the motion picture event, September 29th. Whoa, that was a really good trailer, actually. I really dig this trailer it looks so original this looks like the hollywood blockbuster we need an, an original sci-fi um epic uh, like with a very original and interesting story um like it's it, like uh, it's basically like kind of a re religious story like ai religion like something like that uh like yeah gareth edwards is a really good director he's the director of rogue one and and that overrated godzilla 2014 um 
Well, thankfully, Gareth Edwards has uh, up his game. Uh, I, I, I don't like Godzilla. I really dislike Godzilla 2014. I think that movie is overrated. Uh, but, um, yeah, Rogue One was a masterpiece. So, hopefully, this movie, uh, for sure, this movie will, will be more like Rogue One and less like uh, um, that overrated Godzilla 2014. Uh, like, like it looks so interesting. It looks visually gorgeous. Like this definitely will get get a best uh, visual effects nominee um at the Oscars. Even though it it, it won't beat it certainly won't beat Dune Part Two. I won't be surprised if this wins best visual effects though. But Dune Part Two should win. Like all, it, it's not even it, it no competition about that. Um. And yeah, I really like the cast. John David Washington is in this. Gemma Chan is in this. Uh, as well. And I love Gemma Chan as Cersei. So I love Gemma Chan in general. I would say she's actually one of the better parts of Captain Marvel, honestly. Yeah, yeah, she's actually one of my redeeming qualities in Captain Marvel. Um, yeah. Um, and what else is there to say? Um, yeah, the, the action scenes are really good. This movie does feel like look like a Gareth Gareth Edwards movie. So uh, it's like looking like Rogue One. So I think Gareth Edwards is, is using like what he, doing what he did in Rogue One in this film. And yeah, that's definitely a plus. This is. This movie looks so good. Like it's it, it's in my top ten most anticipated movies of the year. Like, like this this is easily my most anticipated movie this September, and it's not even close. Like there's no competition. So yeah, that's all for my trade reaction for um from the creator. Now I'm gonna be doing a trade reaction to Killers of the Flower Moon. Uh, this is the um the upcoming Martin Scorsese uh movie uh. And it's actually going to be in theaters for once. I know Martin Scorsese did not release his previous film in theaters, so, uh, but this one right here, yeah, um, it's get like. By the way, let's just go check. Uh, let's just go check this movie, this trailer out, this teaser trailer, in uh, three, two, one, go. Okay, beautiful shot right there. Gorgeous slow mo shot. Apple original, Paramount. Paramount's my, by the way, Paramount is my second favorite uh, studio of all that behind Disney and my favorite now Disney studio, so yeah. I'm a fan the of Paramount. Okay. Leonardo DiCaprio's there. And Osage Le Rivers. Le Le Leonardo DiCaprio is one of the greatest actors. Niu Kanska. Oh yeah, there's Children that girl, who's that? She looks kind of pretty though. Mario Scorsese. Move, said oh. the great white uh, father. Robert De Niro. There oh. are many, so many Bro, hungry wolves. A lot of the production design, like, th this looks like a best production design winner Can for us to play for. Can the wolves in this picture? Oh. It was very creative. Oh, um. Whoa. Love the I love the music in this. Ooh. There's gonna be some action, I think. Some tension. Brother Fraser. Brother Fraser's in this one. Can you find hmm. the wolves in this picture? Interesting. Alright, what a trailer, man. What a trailer. When it comes to these Martin Scorsese movies, um, I'm a big fan. Yeah, I know, I have a beef with Martin Scorsese but about what in, in Strap and Salty Marvel say, oh, they're not real movies, they're not cinema, but but that, that doesn't stop me from really liking his movies. Um, And yeah, this, this is going to be the first Martin Scorsese movie I'm going to be seeing in theaters, and it's definitely going to be something wild. Uh, yeah, it, it's going to be something. Um, I mean, I'm... I'll, Yes, I know. Like people say, that Martin Scorsese's best movie is Goodfellas. I mean, Goodfellas um is a masterpiece. Um, it's a masterpiece. I mean, like no, no doubt about that. Um, but then yeah, he made great films. Rich people with silence are really good. The yeah, silence is kind of underappreciated. Like it doesn't get talked about a lot. Um, it doesn't get like talked about a lot when it comes to Martin Scorsese's filmography. But my favorite films from him are The Wolf of Wall Street, The Departed. And unpopular opinion, but my number one favorite Martin Scorsese movie is Hugo. Hugo is so underrated, man. Yeah, 
Hugo is like extremely underrated. Like I don't know why this mo- that movie bombed and no one talks about it. I hear some people even say that that is the weakest Martin Scorsese movie. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Um, leading up to this movie, I'm gonna be reviewing my, my favorite Martin Scorsese movies. Uh, the Departed. Um, yeah. The the part. Um, Wolf Wall Street, The Departed, Goodfellas, and of course Hugo. Well, I'll be reviewing them in in release in release order. But yeah, Killers of the Flower of the Moon looks like um, looks like it it, it looks like it could be in my top five of favorite Martin Scorsese movies. Oh yeah, also I'm I'm gonna be reviewing uh. Um, the Irishman. I wouldn't. I don't know if it's if I would put it among my favorite Martin Scorsese, Scorsese movies, but it is a masterpiece though. And I should review review that since it, it's his previous film. But yeah. Um, can I see the Flower of the Moon? Um, looks like it could be in my top five. I love this cast. I mean, you got Leonardo DiCaprio, a new comp, I, I, an actress who I don't, I don't know about, but I'm, but this movie might make maybe like her. Um, but I think that like the actor I'm I'm most excited to see in this movie is Brendan Fraser. Now, now yeah um I I'm a huge I love Brendan Fraser. I I know I I I didn't really love him uh before um the whale, but after seeing the whale now, like, his phenomenal performance, I can't wait to see what the future holds for Brendan Fraser. Yeah, so he probably could be the best part of this, this movie. Either him or Dina DiCaprio himself. Sorry, um this will be the longest movie I'm seeing in theaters. It's three and a half hours long. Yeah, that is gonna be a world record for this one. Unless if uh, one of the Avatar sequels uh, can uh, can be longer than that, we'll see. But yeah, um, yeah, I can't wait to see this movie theaters. It's gonna be something. But yeah, yeah, that's all I can say about this trailer. But now, guys, let's get into the final trailer. Um. Uh, okay, let's talk now. Talk about the trailer to the movie you probably came into this video for. My Five Nights at Freddy's trailer reaction. Yeah, I, I say this one for last, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure y'all probably came into this first trailer. Um, it's not my favorite of these trailers. Like, I I will say that I I well, well whatever. Uh, um, I I'm always excited for the creator and cares of love the moon of this, but yeah, this is gonna be something. I'm a huge Five Nights at Freddy's fan, so yeah, let's check out this fifty second the teaser trailer. Yeah. Um. I'll talk more about my history with Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's watch this teaser trailer in three, two, one, go. Welcome oh, to Freddy Fazbear's nice Pizzeria. Oh, I want to go there so badly. Come to life. Yeah, this is like Chuck E. Hey, Cheese's. Okay. Oh. If you're watching this video, oh, it's, it's the guy from Hunger Games. It means you've been selected as Freddy's newest Ooh. security guard. Is it gonna jump scare? No, okay, it, it, it didn't jump scare. Hello? Oh my gosh. We're going to have so much fun together. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. This is weird. Oh. Okay, guys, that's it for the, yeah, one of the shortest trailers I've ever watched, seriously. But it was worth it, man. I mean, Final Fantasy Freddy's is one of my favorite games of all time. Like, I actually, I don't know why, but I, I didn't put Final Fantasy Freddy's in my top 10 favorite video games when I uh, did my uh tri- my, my top 10 favorite uh, video games on Instagram. But now I actually would put it somewhere there in my top 10 because it, it is seriously. Final Fantasy Freddy's is probably my favorite horror game of all time. Unless if you count The Last of Us games as horror. Um, yeah, but I really dig this trailer. It's a lot. I mean, 2023 is the, is the year of video games. First The Last of Us, and then the Super Mario Bros. movie. Um, and then we got the Gran Turismo, the upcoming Gran Turismo, which looks underrated. I, I, I have a feeling it could get panned by Chris, but I'm going to defend the movie. And then, of course, Five Nights at Freddy's. Yep. I'm glad that the VR community isn't hating on this one because this is, this is a horror movie. So I'm glad that they didn't say, "Oh, I'm not gonna watch this movie because it's a horror movie. It's gonna be gonna suck." But they're all saying it's actually, but they're all saying they're actually hyped for this one. So I'm actually glad that, that they're not taking this movie seriously. But yeah, this this was a lot of fun. Um, like I don't know, what, I don't have much to say about this. It is just a teaser trailer, but I will say I like that the. I like that you know the um I like I love the designs of the uh. The characters, like you know, the the FNAF characters, they look really good. Like, they look so faithful to to, to the original game designs. And this movie could actually be faithful with its jump scares, use of jump scares and designs. 
The one thing that, that, that I'm worried about in this movie is the human characters. I like that, like that guy from Hungriness in this one, uh, Pita, but I mean, when it comes to movies like this, uh, they usually make the human characters bland and one-dimensional. Like, um, so that's pretty much my one concern with the movie. They, they, they might you know make the human characters bland and uh, bland uh, and, and dull, just like you know, every other creature movie. Uh, and well, hopefully there'll be at least a few some good characters. But I don't know about the characters. I'm really concerned about that. That's one thing I'm concerned about. Hopefully they make hopefully. And I mean, hopefully, the human characters can be decent, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't expect much from them. Uh, I'm here mostly for the fact that it's a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, and I might actually see this, see this movie theaters. So, so good. that's going to be it for my Triple Trailer Reaction video. What, what is your opinion on these trailers, and which one are you excited for the most? For me, I'm also excited for the creator. So yeah, um, comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for my review of Hobson Show, which probably could be could upload on YouTube any minute now. Bye guys.